Hi, I'm Kim. You're watching Kim Wilson TV. My channel is dedicated to helping victims of narcissistic abuse get free and stay free. Today's video was brought to you by Al. Al, thank you so much for the donation to the channel. And don't worry, buddy, I haven't forgotten about your jam. I had a different video planned for today, but as I often do, I was going through the comments and came across a comment that I think is really important. And I want to talk about that today. There's no way to say that one victim was harmed or injured or abused more than another. It's safe to say all of us have experienced a, a tremendous, tremendous amount of suffering, misery, pain inflicted on us, soul-wrenching pain, heartache, just horrendous. But this one kind of stuck out a bit and it really struck home with me, really hit a chord because I know exactly what this feels like. and. I bet others do too. Our friend here at the channel had left the NARC, had been free about nine months, had reestablished her life, was gainfully employed, and was moving on with the healing process. She was hoovered and future faked with promises of moving to a new town, starting a new life together. The NARC had changed. The NARC was tremendously remorseful and didn't want to risk losing her. The NARC wanted her to join him in this new town. He wanted to get married. He wanted to spend the rest of his life with her. True to her empath nature, being a loving, kind, forgiving person, she decided should take the bait. She sold everything she owned. She gave up her job. And I'm sure at considerable financial, you know, cost because typically when you go to liquidate everything you own, you know, you're taking pennies on the dollar and selling off things that you may actually like owning. Um, giving up your job in itself will put you in a pretty volatile situation. Uh, moved away, left friends, family, all the people that mattered to her, her entire support network behind, and off she went, only to find in very, very short time the abuse had begun again. Now, the narc did get married a month later. It just wasn't to her. It was to someone else. And I say leaving the narc creates in them such dire, grave, narcissistic injury that they are overcome by it. They become obsessive. They become compulsive. Their envy, their rage, their anger, their hatred for you is festering and bubbling. And it has now become a very, very dangerous situation. If you've left you have instilled in the narc the gravest of narc injury. This is the greatest blow to them. This is their greatest fear, being abandoned. Okay, okay, they push for the abandonment. They leave you no choice but to abandon them. But nonetheless, you did it, just as they thought you would. Do not, nor will they ever see any role that they played in you leaving. All they see is you're a lying, rotten, horrible piece of shit. They hate you. They're going to destroy you. And anything that they can do to crush you as well, that's what they're going to do. Now, the words mental illness simply do not apply to this debauchery, to this disgusting, deplorable behavior. Now, imagine this victim is moved on. She's establishing herself. She's reconnecting with friends and family. And where's the narc sitting, stewing, plotting, manipulating the situation, devising a plan that he believes will work with no intention of ever marrying her? He wasn't really sorry. He certainly didn't want to spend the rest of his life with her. Hell, he hates her. She left him. Once you've left, you got to stay out of there. The ass kicking that they will plan for you. Imagine this creep sitting, devising a plan like this to get her to give up her job, her friends, her family, her possessions, everything, to leave everything behind and to fill her heart with love and hope for a bright future with someone who is allegedly changed and is remorseful. This is some pretty fucking deceitful shit. I know this game. I know this 
narc maneuver, this narc manipulation, where they start pulling at your heartstrings with promises of a brighter future, of love and romance, and how sorry they are, and how much they don't want to lose you, how important you are to them. Yeah, I too fell for that one plenty, and gave up friends, hobbies, interests, jobs, my stuff, my home, over and over and over again. And I'll tell you, this too is some really serious financial abuse. If you've left once, you've committed the ultimate act against them. There's no turning this around. There's no erasing this from their minds. This is so real to them. This is so impactful. This is just filling up their dead, empty meat suit, their dead, empty souls with nothing but hatred and envy and resentment for you. And trust me when I say, they don't want you back to be nice to you. This is where the ass kicking is going to get worse and worse and worse. It just blows my mind that Anyone would sit and plot this type of evil against someone. This is not mental illness. This is calculated, methodical manipulation and absolute execution of evil. That's what this is. I, I felt sick, actually, when I read that comment because I know how she would have felt in that situation because I certainly felt that way, too, many times. Fortunately, our friend is smart. <laughs> she figured it out. She recognized that that's exactly what it was. Just the beaten he wanted to lay on her before he finally discarded her. Well, I guess I wasn't as smart because I went back many, many times. And I've always said and will always maintain that if you leave and you go back, the punishment, the torture, the nightmare will be worse and worse and worse every single time. Now, I don't know how you make it any worse than, you know, luring you to a new city, getting rid of all your stuff, your job, your friends, everything that's important to you um, with the promise of a marriage. And yeah, somebody's getting married. It's just not you. I will assure you that this speedy marriage to a new victim is nothing but more abuse being dumped on our friend here. Why? Because they want to destroy you. They want to kill you, crush you, ruin you, incapacitate you, absolutely pound you to a gelatinous mass. Now, with that said, recognizing that, I think there's a lot of courage and strength in saying, you know what? I I, I bought it. I, I bought it. I know what it is, and I'm never going back. And the sad part is, as our friend had to go through that in the first place, I know the idea, the hope that your narc has changed, that maybe they're better, that they really did love you, and all of this has just been an ugly nightmare, would be a lovely thought, I'm sure, but it's never going to be. It's never going to be. And if you have left them, well, you have to have left them to be hoovered. So if you're being hoovered, you, instead of hearing the words, the lies, instead of hearing the lies that are coming out of their mouth, just keep, did you guys see that orb? Just keep playing back. I want to kill you. Come a little closer. I want to kill you. Come a little closer. Just step a little closer this way. I'm going to pound the shit out of you because that's what they're really saying. That's what they're saying to you when they say they're sorry, that they've changed, that something's going to be different. It's lies. Always remember, narc lips moving, nothing, nothing but lies. Absolute habitual pathological liars. Everything about them is sinister. Everything is driven by envy, hatred, greed, and a desire to destroy people that they believe are better than them. Many of you have shared your stories of ill-fated hoovers and future faking, so I feel fairly confident saying I have heard thousands of stories of people getting hoovered back. I am yet to hear one that ends well. In fact, everyone ends with brutality unimaginable, far worse than the first time you left. And every time you go back, it's going to get steadily worse and worse and worse. I've spoken to quite a few of you in the last few days via emails and things like that that have told me you're being hoovered. You don't want to get involved with this. I've heard thousands of stories and not one has ended well. 
I'm Kim. You're watching Kim Wilson TV. I hope you guys are having a great narc-free day.